Hello. In this video tutorial, we will be learning about Google Meet, a program teachers will be using to teach your student as we begin distance learning for all across the Salem-Kaiser School District. For this video, you will need a Chromebook or personal device with a microphone and camera capabilities. Let's get started. To begin, be sure you are using Google Chrome as it is the preferred browser for Google Meet. As teachers begin to teach online, they may use a combination of the following three platforms to send and receive information to or from your student. Google Classroom, Seesaw, and or Remind. This is important to know because many teachers will be providing links to their Google Meets through one of these or more platforms. Before your student joins a Meet, we need to first add two Chrome extensions that will allow your student to interact with their teachers and classmates. First, go to Google Chrome and type in bit.ly forward slash meet24j. This will take you to the links you need to add these extensions to Chrome. Once there, click on Google Meet Grid View. This will take you to the Chrome Web Store, where you will click the blue box which says Add to Chrome, and then Add Extension in the pop-up box after that. Next, you will follow the same procedure to add Nod, Reactions for Google Meet, from the bit.ly provided before. Once your teacher has provided a link to their Google Meet, click on it to go directly to the Meet. If you have been given a meeting code or nickname, go to meet.google.com, where you will be able to join by typing the meeting code or nickname in directly. Once you have joined the meeting, a dialog box will open at the top left part of your screen, asking you to allow or block the use of your device's microphone and camera. Please click Allow. These meetings can be a great time to reconnect as well as learn. However, it can get loud and confusing if everyone is talking at the same time. With this in mind, we are asking that all students have their microphone turned to mute when they are not speaking. This can be done by moving your cursor to the bottom of the meet window and clicking on the little microphone symbol. If you have a question or an answer for the group, click the raise hand symbol at the top left corner of your meet. Wait for your teacher to call on you, and then turn mute off by clicking on the microphone again to speak. This will allow everyone to learn from each other respectfully and efficiently. Lastly, once your meet is over, simply press the red phone symbol to exit the phone call. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Google Meet today. We trust you will enjoy this program as much as we do, and we can't wait to see you all there.